Here, we use the real estate analogy. PPC offers the opportunity to occupy a property immediately across many platforms, but on a rolling contract that you might constantly renew. However, SEO, performed correctly, offers a more permanent residence, but requires a bigger down payment and a long mortgage. With PPC, what you see is what you get. Appearing at the top of search results, PPC ads are labeled as ads. You pay the going rate for your ad to appear on the first page of search results. If you are willing to pay whatever the going rate is for the keywords, the searches that you want to target, then your ad will appear on that page. SEO is more complicated as it is based on improving the content of your site so that it will rank higher on Google's organic or unpaid results. Pay-per-click, or PPC, is more immediate and can be activated in a matter of days, hours, minutes if need be. SEO is a longer term strategy. It can take a few months to see an impact. For pay-per-click, text within the ad is quick and easy to change. It allows you to be reactive, whereas with SEO, the listing text, the words that appear on the results page, are more difficult to amend. With PPC, it's your ad, so it says what you want it to say. There are character limits, but this means that PPC content is succinct, compelling, and informative. With SEO, the text length is determined by the search engine. There is more flexibility over how much you write, but the search engine might truncate your copy. With PPC, advertisers pay on the cost per click. It's a cost per click pricing model. With SEO, it requires ongoing investment to maintain rankings, usually charged as consultancy fees, unless you have your own SEO professional. PPC options are available on many platforms. This makes it a very attractive proposition for businesses that know their audiences do not just inhabit the search space, such as online communities, which have become established over time on social platforms, specific websites, or even YouTube channels. SEO is limited or non-existent on many platforms, so PPC becomes the only way to target some audiences. The space, organic or non-paid listings, will continue to get pushed lower and lower by paid listings. When talking about PPC, almost all the discussion revolves around Google services, such as Google Ads. Do other search engines, Bing or Yahoo, not have a look in? The short answer is no. They are in the same league, but they are mid-table at best. Google is the main player, and as far as we can tell, that's not going to change anytime soon. For Google, there are three groups that need to be taken into consideration when placing adverts on search results. The first is users the people making the search and clicking on the ad. They want fast, accurate results. The second is advertisers, the companies who pay Google for every click on their ad. They want to place their ads in the most relevant position where the greatest number of users will find them. And third is Google themselves, who are trying to balance the needs of users and advertisers. The important part of this is to find the right balance between these groups. Google's aim is to create a search engine that will provide advertisers with a steady supply of clicks while still enticing users back with excellent and speedy search results. When we talk about Google, we often refer to the Google network because Google is not just a search page. As well as the page we are all familiar with, Google has connections to other websites. All of these offer marketing opportunities and can be broken down into two main areas. First is search. Search is Google's search page, the most visited web page in the world. And then there are search partners, other websites that use Google within them to, to offer search as a facility. Examples being Amazon.com, The New York Times, and The Guardian. The second is display. The display network is a series of websites across the globe that allow Google to show image-based ads on them. And we have display network partners, including YouTube and mobile apps, meaning that you can use apps and YouTube to show image and video ads in your campaigns. When you consider the reach that the Google network offers, it starts to become clear why people would turn to it for their marketing needs. There are several compelling reasons why PPC advertising is so popular. 
It reaches the people already looking for your kinds of products or services on search engines. It drives immediate results. It's measurable. It's extremely targeted. It's not dependent on SEO or Google algorithm changes. It can help you compete with larger businesses. It will help you break into new markets. You only pay when someone clicks on your PPC ad.